Hey everybody, it's Soy Sensations, I'm back. So, how is everybody out there in YouTube land? So I just wanted to, I made a video before, but for whatever reason YouTube wouldn't let me like upload it or whatever, so it's okay. So, of course I, I'm new to YouTube and all this other good stuff, but I'm with posting. But I'm not new to watching like the mukbangs and stuff like that. <clears throat> the move bombs. So the the beef with B Loves Life and Q, I think is ridiculous. I really do. Um, I think Q handled the situation wrong. Like seriously, handled it wrong. Like as a woman, you should have been able to come to her. Q should have went to her woman to woman and told her her feelings instead of sitting on it for what five six months like seriously sat on it and then turned around and was like well i'm going to put this video out no if you admired her the way that you did then call her on the phone now i'm not taking away from how you feel you feel how you feel um your experience was your experience um i think your expectations were high you had an expectation that was in the cloud about what you think this family is about like you've never met her you know you've never spent time with her this was the first time so it's like you don't really know her just by watching her through the video through the screen here you just don't know her and the fact that you were wanting this relationship, this attention, or whatever it was that you was doing, the fact that you wanted that, that kind of made it a little weird. You know, um, and all of the things that you said, I'm just like, really? The fact that they came with receipts, them receipts was everything. I said, listen, don't say you had a bad time and then continue on texting her months after the event. And come on, like you keep making these videos. She keep making these videos, y'all. And it's totally, totally unnecessary. Just stop. Everybody know that you have some type of feeling or whatever. Everybody knows that. But what I don't understand is why I go in on this family and then they turn around and have receipts. Like, I'm just trying to figure that out. I'm not really having a good hair day, y'all. But it's okay. It's okay. Um, medium hair, don't care. Um, y'all see how my gray. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, what is happening? Um, I really, I just, I don't, it's so unfortunate. It's so unfortunate that this is going on like it couldn't be just a positive thing like you said that this woman wasn't your mentor yet you called her when you had problems and she gave you advice like is that she mentored you give this woman her props like all of your videos has gotten the attention that it got because of you used her name, B Love's Life, or B Love Sauce, or B Love whatever. Like all of her videos, you have completely copied. I'm just saying, all of pretty much, there are so many followers, subscri subscribers that you had came to your channel because of B Love. I'm just saying, am I a subscriber? Have I ever been a subscriber? No, because I just, I usually just someone sitting right with me. I didn't like it. I didn't like the fact that you copy her every move. Like, you you show us be love, but who are you? Do you even know who you are? I'm just saying, like, it's so much cooler being you versus trying to mimic and copy what someone else does. I, it's cool that she gives nuggets and she gives this advice on how to prosper and grow your YouTube channel. I listen to them. I'm a new YouTuber. I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't even know what my page is going to be about. I do uh, sweetjewelrysensations.com jewelry on here for paparazzi. I do eating videos. Um, I've done like little blogs like this. Like I don't know what this channel is going to be. All I know is I'm trying. But 
this is my personality. It's me. I'm taking what she said and applying it to me and my personality. I'm not going to get on her doing all that stuff. I'm just not. She's who she is and you should be who you are. But since you didn't portray that and you portrayed who she was trying to mimic her, now she has receipts and it just kind of made you look foolish. And then these apologies that you have and you put out, like those were not believable. Even when you hit 100K, I saw that little clip or whatever they put on there of you. Dude, those tears wasn't even real. You just want the subscribers because you want the check. And you keep putting these videos out because you know people are going to watch. So it's like... Are you not doing this for gain? Do you did you really mean to apologize? Or did you apologize because you were losing subscribers? Like you have really talked down about this family and you really couldn't have, you shouldn't have done that. And you know, attacking Darius and talking to her your sister talking about he was the queen and blah 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 blah. You don't know what's going on in that boy life. You just don't know. And he's 18. He's not a grown man. He's just like 18. He's trying to figure out who he is in this 18-year-old body. I'm just saying. Like, stop. He's not grown. <laughs> stop it. He still he need his mom and his daddy to do whatever it is that he needs them to do for him. Really? I'm just saying stop being negative like you owe these people an apology and like i told them i commented on the last thing that they had done the last video that they had done sometimes because i was listening to nate and all you need to do he was like all you need to do is do this 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 sometimes you'll never get the apology that you're looking for but the forgiveness is for you it's not for them so they should, you know, they said they have forgiven and move on. No, you, I'm forgiven, but I'm not going to forget. But I'm going to move on because you're not going to hold me captive. You're not going to hold me captive. And you talking about the Bible and things of that nature, then you should know you should have gone to your sister. That's a real scripture. Go to your brethren and get it right. Don't just do it publicly. Why? Why do that? Knowing that you still have been contacting this woman after the fact. I mean, you are the highlight of my 2018. Come on now. People know that you are fake and phony, but you calling them fake and phony. I just think that you had got a little... I think you idolized her. Point blank, period. I really do. I think you idolized B-Love. And when she didn't get the response that she was looking for or hoping for, it's like, oh no, my feelings are hurt. I'm not taking away from what you feel because you feel what you feel and your feelings are real to you. But d come on, seriously? D really? That's how we doing this? I just feel like it was just a bunch of hogwash. I do. I can see past the mask and the crying and tears that you just don't want people to unsubscribe from you. I don't know. I don't. It's silly though. It's kind of silly. No, it's not kind of silly. It is silly because you made yourself look foolish trying to put this family down because you didn't get what you were expecting to get you should have just came with excitement not expecting something you had a preconceived notion in your head you was even getting mad, mad at the woman for not noticing it was some type of racial whatever it is that you guys were experiences experiencing if that's not her experience then she can't relate with to you. Oh, she told you her neighbors are cool with her. They know her at the grocery store and stuff. It was cool. So how does she chime in on the fact of she she that she can't attest she can't attest to that? That's not her testimony. That's yours. Now she can empathize and be like, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna shake that off. We about to do this mukbang. We getting ready to collab. Let's have a good time. Let's do this. Let's do that. Blah blah blah. This blue blue. That's what your attitude should have been like. You know, the opportunity. Not you coming there with a preconceived notion in your head and in your mind. The receipts, I'm telling you, are the best. The receipts give it all. Now, I'm not, again, I'm not taking away from Q's experience and how she felt. But I am going to say that there was a whack apology. And you're just not really, you're not sincere. And I think you're only doing this so that you can get views and stuff like that. You you keep putting these videos out because you know people are going to click on it and watch because it's the hot topic. It's the, it's the gossip. It's the juicy gossip of the mukbang world. You know what I mean? So, do I think B-Love was blindsided? I do. I believe that. Um, I believe that 
she was blindsided by this. I just felt like she feels like you, y'all were better than how you handle things. Because you could have called her like a woman. Like a grown woman. Instead of acting like a girl child. Because a, a grown woman will call on the phone and say, hey, beloved, let me talk to you for a second. Um, when I was at your home, I felt this kind of way. Blah, blah, blah. This, this, that, and the other. At this instant, this, this, that, and the third. But yet you got on the camera and you publicly did it. And you made yourself look so foolish. Then your sister did too. And I, I haven't seen her second video. I saw the first one. I'm just like, that is not believable. I don't believe it at all. I just didn't believe it. The second video, I haven't watched it. Um, I don't know if I am going to watch it, but... Just listening to Nate talk about it, it seemed like you were more sincere. Um, you're talking about the Holy Spirit and things of that nature. So I, maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't know. It's like, do I really want to give you a view? Because I know how, that's how you get your check. And I don't want to contribute to that foolishness. I'm just saying. Even um, I've watched some of, I never really did watch Q's videos. But I did watch the, you know... The first part and the second part, I did watch that. Anything else I haven't watched. It's just, you got where you are because you listened to B-Love. And you pretty much followed her lead. You've done what she, you mimicked her down to your actions. And, yeah, I just, I don't know. I can't even explain to you how senseless this is on like so many levels but i mean it is what it is i mean i'm not gonna i don't know i just feel like I, whatever anywho i just wanted to come on here and just give my little two cents um about the B-Love and Q situation i just wish that fam i wish uh B-Love and her family much success um I think it's big of you guys to defend yourself. I think it's big of you guys to say that you have forgiven. Um, I think it's big of you guys to still wish her well. Um, to even want to continue to to say you're open to even have a conversation with her. I think that's really big of you. I really do. Um, I commend you guys. Um, I don't know you guys personally, but I do feel like you guys... Or trying to do the right thing. Are you perfect? No, no one's perfect. But I do feel like you guys are trying to do the right thing. And I think that you guys are really just speaking your mind. Just like Q. You know, your truth is your truth. And her truth is her truth. Now, you know, the public eye really doesn't matter. But since it was made public, everybody is going to be count, you know, commenting on it or whatever. But as far as Q goes, I mean, if you're going to bring God into it, honey, really be serving him really serve him really give him you know make sure that your heart is in the right place because god does has a standard he does have a standard and his he says that in his word his sis, your sister gets it but you pretty you don't her relationship seems she seems more sincere and she seems like that she really tries to walk with the lord and if she's saying that the holy spirit is messing with her i can't question that i can't question that so i commend her for following through with what the Holy Ghost is telling her to do. Um, it's a Holy Ghost is a real, it's, it's real, you know. Um, but I just feel like you don't bring God into it trying to get sympathy from people. Um, it's, it's, you know, walking as a Christian is a bold and tough thing. You know, God does has a standard. And we, it's, a, it's always a cliche with people. It's a cliche now, oh yeah, I'm a Christian. Oh, I do this, oh, I do that. But your lifestyle doesn't line up with what christ is if you're a christian that means you're supposed to be christ like i'm just saying i'm not here to preach i'm not uh, and i'm not gonna preach but i'm just saying just giving those little nuggets to you um repent the quickest way back into god's presence is through repentance it's through repentance and then the highest worship that you can have is obedience be obedient so i do commend your sister i do commend her for being obedient and coming back with a second video i haven't seen it um i just heard about it through the video um from be love and nate and darius but i just you know you guys sh sh get it together 
If we supposed to be sisters in Christ, then let's act like it. Let's do this. Let's not hurt our brethren. Let's not tear our brethren down, but let's lift each other up. What I see that beloved did was the Bible tells us when you have gotten to a place, you reach back. And you grab your brethren and you pull them up. And I honestly feel like that's what she has done and is doing. Because a lot of people get viewers because of her. If she just mentions their name, they go to their channel. Just like, you know, um, Nicole Levener, of course. I truly love her. She's such a sweetie fine. Um, I, I do. She doesn't have much content content on her page but i look forward to her and um dalvin's videos like i really do because i just i just think they're a bomb like they have really good videos and she's funny and she has the viewers because he reached back and pulled her up i'm just saying anywho um be love and family i wish you guys well the weapon is formed but it shall not prosper god is your refuge you are to run into him and you will be safe okay and um q i just pray that you do better i pray that you own whatever it is that you have done own it repent and own it and then move forward because you want to continue to prosper okay all right y'all that was my little two cents <laughs> i meant to put this video out when it first that happened but it my my phone wouldn't upload it so here i am doing it now so, um, y'all can be blessed. I'll be back with another video soon. Um, probably an eating video. Um, actually, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna make my mother a seafood boil. And so I probably will come back on camera and do my seafood boil with her. I think. If she'll let me. <laughs> if not, then I'll be back on my, on my own. Okay? So y'all be blessed and I'm gonna see y'all later. Oh, and if you're looking for any jewelry, paparazzi jewelry, go to my website, um, sweetjewelrysensations.com and you can shop until you drop. Everything is nickel and lead free. Um, and it's $5 plus tax. I ship anywhere in the United States. Um, it's $5 plus tax and any shipping, probably $375 to $425, okay? All right, y'all. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button at the bottom and hit the little button, so the bell, so that you know when I am here. All right, with a new video. All right, y'all. Y'all be blessed. Bye.